Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about the configuration part for Log4Net framework. So whenever we want to use the Log4Net framework, we need to specify certain initial configuration for that framework. And you can specify that initial configuration in two ways. First, you can specify the configuration inside application configuration file, that is appconfig or you can create a custom class which will define this configuration. So whenever you are using the app config file for defining the configuration, that is also known as XML configuration. So while defining the configuration, these are the three important information you need to use. First, the type of appender. Appender represent that where the logs will be output. For example, you can output your log at the console or a file or a database. So that will be defined by Appender. The format of the logging information. So if I open my log file, as you can see here, there is a specific format which I am following. The timestamp, the name of the method, the logging information and the level of log. So this type of format you need to specify inside the configuration and the level of logging information. So this level I'm going to talk about more detail in our upcoming video that what are the different level which Log4Net provides. So again I will jump back to Visual Studio and here inside the test script I will create one more folder called Log4Net And for time being, I'm going to just remove this two attribute from our initialize and tear down method because if I run it, it is going to launch the browser. So currently our focus is to just discuss about the framework. So if I comment out this two attribute, it is not going to launch the browser. So now inside this, I'm going to add a class called test logger. I'm going to make this class as test class. And inside this, I'm going to create a method public void test log for net and this is a th test method so I will use the attribute test method with it now the type of appender so these all information you can easily get it from the online SDK provided by log for net so this is an SDK reference for the appender so first I'm going to create a console appender. That means the log will be outputted at the cons console. So in order to create the console logger, the type of appender we need to use is console appender. The format of logging information is percent message. So this is going to display the message which your logger is generating. And currently I'm setting the level of logging information to all, okay? So again, I will go back to the SDK documentation. If you scroll down, there is a class called console appender. Okay. And inside this class, we have methods, properties, and constructor for creating the console appender. Okay. So in order to use the logging framework, that is in order to use the log4net, we need to follow certain set of step. Okay. The first step is to create the layout. Okay. So this layout will represent the format in which you want to store the log. After that, use 
this layout in the appender okay so first we'll create the layout then we will create the appender and use this layout inside that appender after that initialize the configuration so whatever the configuration that is the creation of the layout and creation of the appender we are going to initialize it after that get the instance of the logger okay so we will create the instance of the logger and use that logger instance to log the information okay so these are the four steps which we need to follow while creating a logger from the code so again first we will create a layout which will define the format of information then we will create an appender which will decide that where the logs gonna output and use these use that layout inside the appender after that we are going to initialize this configuration after that we will create the instance of logger and use this instance to generate the logging information so first we'll create the layout if i go to the sdk for creating the layout there is a namespace called log4net.layout and i'm going to use the pattern layout so this is the commonly used layout it is very simple to use so inside this layout I will start with the basic then as we proceed with the video I will bring up more configuration more different type of format so I'm going to use this class for creating the layout so this is a pattern layout so here I will use where pattern layout equal to new pattern layout okay so inside the pattern layout if you look at the if you look at the class definition of the pattern layout so there is a conversion pattern property which will define the pattern of the login information so here I will use pattern layout dot conversion pattern equal to percent message okay so this percent message is coming from here okay so inside the pattern layout class there is a conversion name pattern okay so this is the message which represent that used to output the application supplied message associated with the logging event okay So after this I will call pattern layout dot activate option now this is very important method to call it is going to initialize the configuration which we specified okay so our layout is done then we will create the appender so I'm going to create the console appender so let, let's go back to the console appender class Yeah, this is the console appender okay so where console appender equal to new console appender now here I'm going to initialize all the property by using a concept called object initialization so one way to initialize the property is use the object name and the property name other way is to use the object initialization like this so first we need to specify the name of appender so all this property are coming from your console appender class okay so we have all this properties so name of the appender let's say console appender using this property I'm just specifying the name to the appender after that we are going to use the layout so layout I'm going to use this after that threshold level so I'm going to set it to level dot all 
that means it is going to capture all the logging information and that's all after that to initialize this configuration I will call method console appender dot activate option so this two method sorry these two steps are done where we have created the pattern layout and we have created the console appender now third step is to initialize the configuration so here we need to call basic configuration dot configuration dot configure and here we need to supply the appender where we want to output our logging information so currently we are using the console appender so I will specify here now the third step is done the fourth step is to get the instance of logger so here I will use ilog which is coming from log4net so this is the interface which is implemented by the logger so give it the name logger equal to logger manager dot get logger sorry not logger manager so it's log manager not logger manager dot get logger so this is the static method which is coming from log manager class and this will create the instance of logger for us this method takes the type that for which type we want to create the logger so in our current case I want to create a logger for this class so I'm going to use type of operator to specify the type type and the name of the class so this particular method is going to create give me an instance of the logger which is of type this now I can use this logger to generate the logging information so I will use logger dot debug this is debug information info this is info information warn this is warn information similarly error and fit okay so I'm going to put a breakpoint over here build our project and run the script in debug mode so test logger okay let me make it public and again build this project yeah here is the class so I'm going to run this script in debug mode so first it will create the pattern layout then it will create the console appender then initialize the configuration then get the instance of the locker which is of type our class and then generate the required information 
okay so now if I just click on output so as you can see here it is get it is generating the information now all the information are in a single line so I need to add a new line character so again I will go back to the documentation and for the pattern layout that is inside the layout pattern layout and I will look for the conversion pattern for new line so inside the pattern layout for every information there is a conver conversion pattern available so I use the message conversion conversion pattern now for the new line I will use the new line conversion pattern just make sure that whatever the conversion pattern you are using it should proceed with percent now I'm going to again run this script So first we'll create the layout, then appender, initialize the configuration, get the instance and generate the information. So if I look at the output of this test, so as you can see here, the required information are getting generated along with the new line. So these are the conversion pattern which I commonly used and it is coming from pattern layout. So as we have already seen that message is used to display the associate message. So that means whatever the message you are passing from here that will be represented by this message conversion pattern. And the new line conversion pattern is used to add a new line character. After that we have a date absolute conversion pattern that will include the date. The class conversion pattern will include the class. The level conversion pattern will will include the level of login information and the method conversion pattern will use the name of the method. So let me show you each conversion pattern one by one. So now I'm going to use date absolute. So date absolute and percent. I'm going to run this script. So it is done. If I look at the output, so as you can see here, now it is generating the timestamp also. Okay. If you want to play around with the date format, you can again look into the documentation. And here you can use like this also. If you want to generate the date in a specific format. Now after that, the next conversion pattern is a class so this will display the class name also so here I will use percent class and run this so now in the login information the class name will also be added so as you can see here the class name is selenewwebdriver.testscript.log4net.testlogger okay so it is displaying the class name along with the entire namespace okay now after that the level and method so I will add the method first So this represents the level of logging information. So if I look at the output, so as you can see here, now it has included the level of logging information inside the log. That is debug, info, warn, error and fatal. And the last one is the method. So percent method. So there are other types of conversion pattern also, but usually I use this format for my logger. Okay. So 
So again, I will run it. If I look at the output. So now as you can see here, it has included the name of the method also. So this is the conver conversion pattern which I follow for generating the login information. Okay. So if you want to generate the login information in your format, you can look inside the pattern layout and use the different conversion pattern. Okay. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.